us through Saturday, man. It was a bunch of highs, a bunch of lows. What's going through your mind that entire game? It's the penalties mound and the touchdowns that get you make a play there at the end. Uh, it was just like I can't. It was just like a lot of adversity, so I just had to handle adversity well. That's really it. Um, it was pretty hard to deal with. I just had to uh, just shake back and just uh, just another another play. Just you got to have a mindset as you're a cornerback. Like you just got to go to the next play. You always gonna get caught on it while you playing corner. Seemed like despite everything that was thrown at you, we're able to make the game-winning play with deflection. What did that mean for you? Despite everything, just to make that kind of game-winning play. Um, I wasn't really looking at that play. I was really looking like like all the other plays that I messed up on. So I wasn't really looking at the play. How important was it though to finish like that? Or just for your sake? Uh, it was pretty important just to show that like that uh all the penalties and touchdowns scored on me that didn't affect me the play I kept playing. So after you knocked the ball down you just kinda laid there in the end zone on your back. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, really, I dropped the, I really dropped the interception, mm -hmm. and that was my second drop. So I was kind of upset at myself that I was laying right there. So, but you realized the game was over too, right? Yeah. yeah. Was there just relief, like? Yeah, finally? I just had to get a moment to myself. Like, yeah. Hey, you guys are undefeated and ranked in the top five, but is. Is there any frustration on the defense that it it hasn't yet all clicked for you guys? Um, no, nah, not really. Uh, we know what we can do. Uh, so that that game don't uh, don't show what we what we capable of. So have you had a chance to watch the film with Coach Reed yet? Yeah, I watched the film yesterday. What were some of his insights, his thoughts, and the the, the good, the bad, the ugly, all that? Um, just keep playing, keep playing, fight through adversity. How many times do you have you heard stuff then, or do you expect to hear? Find the football, you know, don't always just run with your back turned. Uh, yeah, I heard that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said that was your second row, so you think it's back to Georgia Tech. Still. Yeah, it's Georgia Tech. Yeah. yeah. Like how, how much did that one stay with you? <laughs> I mean, it stuck with me, but now it just. I get, I'm gonna get another opportunity. So. David, you had some time to look at uh, NC State's offense and what kind of challenges do they present for you guys? Uh, I looked at it. I mean, we it's just another game, another day. So get we we ready. We ready. We gonna be ready. It's interesting that, that you're already kind of like, yeah, that that late game is over. How important is it to be a great cornerback that you? the bad plays in the past, you forget about them and just go ahead and go to the next one? Um, I mean, that's really what you got to have a mindset at corner. Like, you can't have, you can't stick on the plays you do bad. You just got to put it to the side and just go make another play. David, what have you seen from the young guys from freshmen? Uh, they stepping up, stepping up, showing good um, accountability and stuff. So that's good. It's helping the team. Just keep playing. Don't don't let don't let nothing get we uh, KJ was like he know who I am, so he a great teammate. Yeah. Does that mean a lot to you to have an older guy come up and say, You're here for a reason? Yeah, I feel I like Yeah. I feel like um that just keep my motivation going, like just seeing other guys older guys coming to me like you 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 know what you do, you know what you're here for, so I feel like that made me play to my ability. So. Did you ever have a game like that in high school where you were like, okay, now I've struggled, this yeah. is bad? Nah. So this is the first for you? Yeah, that was the first time I ever witnessed something like that. What were, what were you thinking on the way home from, from your game on Saturday? I mean, you guys are, are loaded up and you're eating and, and 
What's going through your mind? Uh, I really wasn't focused on the game after we won. I was just like, it's time for the next game, really. And I was just like, I wanted to watch film, so, yeah. I guess when did you watch film, like that night or, or early in the morning? Yeah, early Sunday morning. Any questions for Nate from Zoom? Um, just our technique. We gotta get better with our technique. That's all. Coach Swinney talked a lot yesterday about press bell and, and not playing that correctly. Can you kind of explain um, just what y'all didn't do well enough in, in that technique? I mean, just probably looking at the quarterback. Probably that's the biggest thing. Guy give you any donuts? <laughs> yeah, I got some donuts. <laughs> I didn't know if they shared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some donuts. Yeah. Nate, do you expect maybe teams to look at that film and, and say we can attack this, these, these corners of secondary and say you guys, you know, are you going to stop it consistently or I mean, not even personal? They can try. I know what I can do, so I ain't going to never have no game like that again. So they can try. But it's not going to be the same result. about your mindset that just allows you to even after a bad game like that you know, be so confident in yourself? Um, I just know my talent. I feel like one game don't uh, oppose who I am. So I just, yeah.